对哈。那在这边一样，这一段是由中文、英文跟日语来做分段的直播。但是我们 so today we have the team from Yunlin who will be joining, sharing with us today. And now because we have、uh, Chinese, English, Japanese. As well as all other six languages that's currently available into our channel and broadcasting around the world, and from these words, these、uh, data was actually prepared by the Yunlin team and having our artworks team that helps in preparing these these uh, these uh, publications. So as soon as we have received a theme from our speakers, then we will immediately pass on and have a relay to have the teams prepare these、uh, materials. So now let's hear from our Yunlin team about using love as a to accompany and rebuild the warmth of home. Dear Master, dear Bow Masters, and all the Ziji families, hope you all have a good day. And、uh, we are the Yunlin team from Taiwan. Now our our team today was represented by Dou Liu He Qi, which I mean. Who, who、uh, are here today to share about rebuilding the warmth of, of the home? And they would like to share about how they were able to work with the case,、uh, with their with the case visits, and how to prepare and accompany them so that they would stand on their own two feet. And here we hear a lot of stories of the difficulties and they have encountered, and what they have done to able to help them rediscover the meaning of life, and help them to stand back up. So let's give them a round of applause for their sharing. Hello, everyone.、Uh, from the Douliu team. And first, I'd like to share with you how、uh, one of the cases about having a home just shelter them from the wind and rain. So, we just turned it to our team. Actually, our Douliu team. Now it was this was a case visit that I should receive from the other charities, but because they do not have any experience with with home building and and recovery, so they refer them all over to us. Now I know everyone have. Have this desire deep inside of them to have a home that they have to shelter themselves, especially for those who travel from afar. So. Our case, our case today,、uh, Mrs. Nguyen, who has actually came from Vietnam, her husband had a stroke, so lot has damage to his his speaking、uh, speech regions as well as mobility. But she is still content that as long as she has him with her, then she's. She is content. Now, in the picture, you can see this is the home that they live in.、Uh, these are kind of a mud, mud、uh, abode that they have that they have built. Now, one time when it rained, when our our volunteers came to visit, they saw six to seven buckets、uh, inside, which to collect the the leaking water from the ceiling. Um, the, the Mrs. Nguyen also shared that one time when they were sleeping, they heard a, a loud thud, and when they turned on the, the light, they saw a snake that had fallen from the from the roof. This has shocked them and scared them. So and also made us、uh, also made us very worry about their safety. So we we immediately contacted our building department、uh, to help with their with the assessment, and we learned that they need to replace the beams as well as the roofing, and, and in addition to replacing the lights and、uh, bathroom fixtures. So on that day, we have about thirty brothers and sisters all join in on a hot summer day under the hot sun. 
And everyone had put on in a relay to bring out the bring, uh, bring down the the roofing shingles. Now, in their dis in doing the process, they discovered that there is actually a snake nest up in the roof, and they were all really shocked to learn that this is where they have been living. Now, with their love and compassion, they were able to defeat the sun despite having been drenched in with their sweat. They all were able to work together and creating this most beautiful picture that you see here. During the climate constructions, also when typhoon came, so when the heavy rain started to fall, everyone quickly gathered the tarp and cover up the roof and continue their work. The spirit of Siji is to be fearless and undeterred by the weather. So even in the rain, in the event among the storms, they were still working together to hopefully finish the job on time. As the roof was finished, we have a donor from the a local contractors who brought their staff to help the interior decoration as a as a donation. Now these are all from the from our donors, and you can see that there's love everywhere. By July 18th is when the the uh, construction was completed. So city volunteers pre prepared rice balls, a cake. As well as uh, these squirrels to help to to help uh, share their warmest regards. The case the case owner's son um, also came by and helped to put on the the squirrels. Even the village leader has came by and shared share his appreciation how Siji brothers and sisters were able to help his villagers remodel and having a home that is now safe. So we, with everyone seen together, they have wish they they, they 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 would stay safe and that's where we got this picture so now let's give a let's watch a little video that documents the entire progress as we can see here they're bringing down the the uh, roofing tiles as well as taking out the old ceiling the homeowner was unable to work ever since he had a stroke. So the family was supported purely by the wife who worked at uh, odd, odd jobs to help support the family. And every time it rains, as you can see them bring out every pans and buckets they have to collect the rainwater. And even in the middle, even in the midst of a storm, when everyone's all drenched, we still gathered and put on the tarp to cover it up. We didn't just go and shelter ourselves. <laughs> and you can hear the village leader saying that because of their reduced, limited resources, they're really grateful that Siji was able to step in and help provide them with this new home. In 2021, the uh, case the case owner uh, had a motorcycle accident and broke broke his leg. Oh, sorry, I broke her leg. So Tsuji has then accepted them into our monthly case visits and to provide them with, with uh, assistance. So they're all family. Their whole family has now become our Tsuji donating members and with their hands they have joined in Tsuji with their environmental protection and recycling efforts. So even though they have very limited resources, they were still able to turn their palms from a receiver into a giver. To the Siji family across the world, I hope you all have a good day. I am, my name is Hong Xi Dem from Yunlin, and my sharing today will be about 
的一个心得哈、哦。那其实、uh, similar， 呃，这个 I would like to share about some of the my 呃、uh, 看到这个案主的 my reflection、哦这个、when helping with this 发生这个中风哈、哦、，a home redecoration 经济重担哈、哦、都落到他的这个外籍的这个太太的身上哈、哦。那个时候我就想到说。Uh, As we can see that uh, because of the because of illness, the the role of supporting the home or the economic income has fall up, fall up on the the wife who, who is an immigrant from Vietnam, and it reminded me of a case that I uh, that I have encountered years before. Who, with Siji's volunteers' help, was able to recover and all, even becoming a member of our Tsi Faith group. So the brother Ke, who is the case that、uh, I mentioned,、uh, he used to be he he was a a manager、uh, for a insurance company. But because of perhaps his lifestyle,、uh, he had a stroke and leading to him being paralyzed, as well as reduced speech. And for three years, he's been isolated himself and able to face the crowd. Um, he also spent six years. With speech therapy in the veteran hospital in Taipei. Now, in one day, he came by our community、uh, year and blessing ceremony and left his contact information. So our volunteers reached out and invited him to join us. We found that he is a very passionate person. Every time we invite him, he would come. He would come to the event. So then we invited him to join our. Volunteer training program, and he later became certified. Now, even he has suffered a bodily impairment, he he never let that be a burden to him. So, regardless of the task, he still joined in. Um, he still joined in and and do what he can. So. While so all the while, while his life seems to be taking a better turn, we heard that his son,、uh, who is about to graduate from high school, had an had a motorcycle accident and leading to some spinal energy, spinal injuries, and losing. Losing feeling、uh, in the lower body and unable to walk. As we can see, this is a huge impact to their family. And for the for two years, they have helped the help their son receive all sorts of neurological treatments. Regrettably, he is unable to recover fully. So, brother Ke went back to his home in Nanto because、uh, he feels like his his wife is unable to take care of his son by herself. So now that he's able to. To overcome these challenges, he has taken his experience and turned it into a positive experience, and to share with other people. So, with that thought, we have I have、oh, we have connected the cases and let them meet. So when the pandemic started to had had a slowdown, we arranged a meetup. So and we can see and using uh using. 
a video conference, they were able to meet together and share their experience as encouragement. So let's see this video. So he's sharing his experience of overcoming his speech impediments because because before his speech therapy, um, he's unable to to speak easily, and it had been a major block in his uh, self esteem. So they're asking that maybe one day they can come in person and meet them, um, and share his blessings and his encouragement, so help everyone, help help the other person recover with his experience. So, for today, I, we are very grateful that we have Brother Ke, who's able to join in in person. So, let's give him a round of applause as to show his uh, appreciation for his, for, his, for his work. Now, Brother Ke is wearing sunglasses because he had a eye surgery last year. Uh, so that's why he's trying to protect his eyes. Now, through the, our experience in working with the cases and accompanying them, we have learned a lot of, and learned a lot of touching stories. So much like Master has taught us that those suffering may not be able to walk out. So those who, have, who are fortunate must, must go in. And these are the best representation, as you can see from Brother Ke, that he had a lot of challenges in his life, but he's still very brave to overcome them and do what he can to contribute and helping other people who was like him. So even though he has his bodily limitations, he still has the vow and, and wish to join in all city activities. Thank you. Uh, dear Master, dear Well Masters, and Siji family across the world, hope you have a good day. Uh, my name is Deng Xiu Luan from Dou Liu. Now, I'm very grateful, very happy to be here at the, the Kaohsiung Online Study Group and share about uh, my my experience in Siji. Now, I'm very grateful that my last life had had uh, created a lot of blessings so that I have this opportunity to become master disciple in this life and having this opportunity to be in be, to go into the crowd and see suffering so understand my own blessings as well as accompany those who are suffering. Last year, uh, two years ago in August 10th, uh, uh, from the news, we have heard about some fires in Donan and leading to a family who had uh, leading to a family of seven of three death and one in critical condition. So that afternoon I received a, a call that the eleven year old the, the eleven year old victim uh, has passed away and the body has been sent to a local temple. So I immediately called the family and asked the brothers and sisters uh, to, to, to join in. And at next, and we, at, at, when I got there, I see that the grandpa and grandmas were sitting next to the body and chanting. The mother was very weak, so I, when I saw her, I gave her a hug, and she wouldn't stop crying. So then I, I, I asked her, let's uh, let's start it to let's start chanting to bless the the child for his passing. So for as we chanted, uh, we become more and more concentrated, and have, and it helped her calm down. 
So I feel really valued that being as a city members that I could be a a, a support for those in need. When the fire happened, the the grandpa and grandma and the the younger sisters were in critical conditions. So as while they waited, they were hoping for miracles to happen. But nine、uh, nine days later,、uh, grandma has told her son that to let go and let the let the little girl. Uh, pass on. So they decided to put her, take her off life support, and bring it, bring her into the same、uh, funeral homes with、uh, the other relatives. So during this time, whenever I have an opportunity, I would go by and and see them. Even if I couldn't make it in person, I would call them to show my my care. And at their at the、uh, at the funeral ceremony, city members all came by to share their blessings. Even though it is such a saddening scene, seeing three members of the family in this on this at the same funeral, and it is such a emotional moment. For the parents, so there's a lot of brothers and sisters that joined this event, and we all chanted and wish those who passed on and dedicate our merits to them. The families were very appreciative and very grateful. So at the end, the families held my hand and say that they were really grateful and very grateful for Siji. So joining into the the crowd has. Been a mission of all city members, and we learned that life is truly impermanent. Everything we know can change in a moment.、Uh, it, it, they were such a happily, happily. They were so happily together as a family the day before, but a fire. Created this separation for him forever, and it is also a a realization of Buddha's teachings that the sufferings in our lives are truly truly unbearable. So it is a time to remind ourselves to, to take take chan take charge of our time and be very diligent. As we heard from、uh, Stephen Huang. That we must turn our karma afflictions into our vows, and that is the goals for our life. So, lastly, I'd like to share with you these ten practices. And because it is one of the folklores, so if you're able to join me, I'd like to sing with you all.、Okay. So our first practice is to learn not to hold any grudges. The second practice is to learn not to be comparing with other people. Third practice is to learn to be courteous、uh, in everything we do. The fourth practice is to hold, have a smile. Whenever we see other people, the fifth practice is to learn that being taken advantage of is not a big deal. And the sixth practice is to be supportive of other people whenever they have, whenever they need it. The seventh practice is to learn to live without worries in our heart. The eighth practice. Is to learn to say good words、uh, from our mouths. The ninth practice it is to make good companions、uh, from everyone that we know, and the tenth practice is everyone to be on the Buddha path. If everyone can practice ten practices. 
then the realm of Buddha will be a happy ground for us all. Okay, thank you, everyone. So let's give a round of applause. I'm very grateful for Yunlin Dou Liu's team and their sharing. A master has said that those who are those who are suffering may not be able to come out. Those with, who are fortunate must be able to go in. So I'm very happy that we're able to be the fortunate ones in other people's lives. And when we see the joy in the, our case visits, uh, the case in the in the face of the cases, we are we too feel that joy. And we love to be as a Tsuji member that whenever people see us, they they love us because of our experiences. And as we all know that life, there's only there's no ownership in life. There's only opportunities. So we must take chat take charge of our time and make good use of our of our life. So next, I would like to uh, present to everyone with a sign language sharing or the sign language performance. And this song in English is called A World Filled with Love. And when you reach out your hand, helping others, your life will surely change because we're no longer we're no longer uh, unfamiliar with each other. With our heart being grateful, the world is filled with warmth. And let the world turn with us with love to aid the circle. So when you reach out your hand and you need a help uh, on your own, perhaps you will face again the hands that you once held before. so with everyone's help, they, every time they, they, they take a step, they were able to advance further. So they were, we wish that they were able to work together in the future.
Well, let's give it a little round of applause for the Yunlin team. Um, they come here. They came here fully prepared, even though there was this one time a year that they were sharing. Even even so, they would still come together as a team and share their their how they work together in harmony. Uh, in Yunlin, there are five volunteer teams, and here we can hear from. Doliu team, and we can see how fully, fully involved they are in their communities and helping those who are in need. So as you can see from Brother Ko that even though he's wearing uh, sunglasses, he is still nonetheless not separate from all of us. And from their sharings, uh, we can see whether it is the their presentations or their from their. Uh, script um we have created and they work really hard to present them with the videos and pictures to showcase their work so once more so let's give another round of applause so, uh, this is a quick feedback from our viewers. If you hear from uh, volunteers in Japan, so we can see that Tsuji's love it is uh, to give without asking for any return. And when you're seeing their their people responding that that she sounded very professional. And Sister Yuru has been our contact windows, but unfortunately she's not able to make it here herself because she just uh, tested positive the day before. So we can see that I really received the uh, Receive a, a, a message from her. So if you're like, you can share this uh, the stories uh, with those that you know, and the feedback that the volunteers in Yunlin has been such a great helper. So, 